Hello all, welcome to the third module. In the previous module, we saw how Wally was making plans for her secret bus ride. Now let's continue. After replanning and recalculating, finally came the riding day. Bus was on its usual route to the main highway when they heard a shouting voice commanding them to stop the bus. On hearing the voice, the bus slowed down and on seeing Wally, a small girl, the conductor asked her to tell the one supposed to travel to hurry up. When Wally told him that she was the passenger, he was shocked to see such a young girl and thus stopped the bus. It was hard for the conductor to believe that she was about to travel alone. Then she handed him her bus fare. The conductor offered her help to climb up the bus. But responsible and proud as she was, she made her intentions clear that she needed no help. Thus, in a light tone, he addressed her madam and escorted her to the seat by telling other passengers to make way for the madam. Since it was afternoon, not many people travelled during this time and thus everyone's eyes were at Wally. All of them adored her along with the conductor. While everyone was laughing, it made Wally shy and thus she hurried to her seat. And the conductor seeks the approval of Madam before beginning the journey and then blows his whistle twice to signal the driver to start the bus. The bus was new and there was a clock just in front of Wally and the seats were extremely comfortable. She quickly turned towards the window to have a view of the outside but couldn't have the complete view for she was too short and the window blinds were obstructing her view. Thus, she decided to stand up to be able to look properly. The bus was on a very narrow road. On one side, there was a canal and beyond it trees, distant mountains and a large blue sky could be seen whereas on the other hand, there was greenery all around. Wally was enjoying a lot when suddenly someone asked her to sit down and this made Wally annoyed. She said to the man that she had paid the full fare just like everyone else. Thus the conductor made a remark that she is a grown-up madam because a child could never pay for his or her bus ticket. Wally annoyingly told the conductor not to call her madam and reminded him that she has not yet received the ticket. Mimicking her tone, thereby making everyone laugh, the conductor handed her the ticket and asked her just sit back and make herself comfortable. He also asked her why should she stand when she had paid for a seat. To which Wally proudly replied that she would do whatever she wanted to. The bus stopped and more passengers boarded. She quickly sat down when an old woman sat near her. The lady was staring at Wally before asking her if she was all alone. Wally developed a strong dislike for the lady whose earlobes had big holes. Though annoyed by the elderly lady, Wally told her that she was travelling alone and that too with a ticket of her own. Further, she assured her that she can travel alone and started looking outside the window to avoid further conversation. It was a dream ride for her. She resisted every temptation, ranging from peppermints, toys, balloons to merry-go-round at the village fair. After so many efforts, she finally saved 60 paise. Wally used to take benefit of her mother's afternoon nap, and this time it was an excursion outside the village. Now let's wait and see what happens with Wally in the upcoming module.